CSA in here with a surprise mystery box unboxing. Now, just this past Saturday, I went to Cape Comic Con down in Cape Girardeau. Me and Mr. Spock headed down there. He got a couple autographs. He got a couple of cool pictures and stuff like that. I did the same. I got a uh, photograph with Road Warrior Animal, which was awesome. I also picked up two masks, one uh, inspired by Hawk, one inspired by Animal. I had to get both. I happened to get the last Animal one he had, at least at that day, so that's awesome. I also picked this up. Now this is a pro wrestling signature mystery box. It contains two 8x10 autograph photos, one wrestling action figure, one comic book, two WWE trading card packs, and one WWE trading card hanger pack. Now this is from Fandom Corner. Now they were there at the con, they had a whole bunch of stuff for sale, it was really cool. I always want to get keyblades and stuff like that couldn't get it this time. I actually opted out of a few autographs um, due to prices and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into it or anything like that. I was a little disappointed in a few things. But, you know what? It was awesome all around. I got a few Funko Pops. I got the Hot Topic exclusive Young Books. So that's awesome. But, I got this. Now this is $40. And they had this in a stack of like 10 or 11 or something like that. They also had a random fan boxes. Um, so basically, it was like a big box for fifty dollars. This was forty dollars, and it was just a box full of random stuff. Now I didn't see anyone grab it on one like that. I didn't see anyone grab these, so I think I'm like one of the first people to unbox them. So let's go ahead and just dive right into it. I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. Cut that. Cut that. This is up so we don't cut anything in the middle. Slice, slice. Let's see what we got. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, that is awesome. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave that right there. The first comic we got, which is the comic, not the first comic, the comic we got, The Warrior, issue number one. So this is pretty cool. Ultimate Creations Presents Warrior. May number one. I believe this is the one written by the Warrior. Huh. That is pretty awesome. I'm going to have to check this out, guys. I'm going to have to check this out. That is awesome. And I see... I see a couple signatures. I see the signatures we got. Which one... Oh, those are both awesome. Those are both awesome. Okay, um... I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, okay, okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, wait for those uh, autographs. Okay, we'll pull everything else out, or at least on top, I'm not going to show you guys. Okay, the first trading pack we got was a 2017 look for a John Cena tribute card. And then we got a look 2017 look for a John Cena training card. We have a 2017 Heritage box. Okay. We have, which is cool, but no box, which is still cool. We have a Brock Lesnar, Welcome to Suplex City, which is awesome. Now, what is the, uh, it just says Lesnar South Suplex City. That is pretty cool. It's all articulated and everything like that, which is pretty tight. I like that. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with it just yet, but this is cool. I like this. I like this. Um, okay, so what we got are... I wish they would have taken the stickers off them. I really wish they would have taken the stickers off them. I'm actually going to hate when they leave stickers off. Like, oh wait, you know how much you paid for it. But yeah, then and then everyone else does too. And that's kinda like cheap whenever you sit there and you actually like sit there and actually like, you know, pay for the autographs, like, oh okay, you know what, I have these at home, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. So I'll 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 take the rest off later. Um, so, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, first signature. Haku. Okay, cool. That is awesome. This autograph item is hand signed by the personalities and it even has a 100% guarantee right there. Okay, but we got Haku. It's pretty tight. Then, this one I really, really like. I really, really like. Gangrel. 
Scarecrow. Oh, I hear it. Oh, I hear it. I, Gang Girl and the Brood was one of my favorite tag team uh, staples as a kid in the 90s. It was awesome. So that is tight. So we got all that. We got two signatures Haku, Gang Girl, Blue Chip. We got the Warrior comic book. We got Lesnar. And you know what? Let's open up these packs. I doubt there's there's really no chance of us getting anything good from these packs. So we have Seth Rollins, Kurt Hawkins, Naomi, Feel the Glow. We have Mandy Rose. Ooh, we have Alistair Black's first card. Uh, we have Hype Bros. And we have the last chapter, Authors of Pain and Finisher. Let's go ahead and open this one. And I'm just going to these, open these up really, really quick. Because these, I don't expect to get any hits or anything like that out of these. Uh, David Otonga. Undertaker. Dianlo Alfabino. I believe that's how you how you say his name. I do not know how to pronounce that. Sorry. Uh, Jason Jordan is a rookie card. Now we haven't seen Jason Jordan in a long time until it was a uh, until it was Kurt Angle's last Raw. He was sitting there in the background. Oh, uh, Titus O'Neil. Uh, the 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 tongue tied. Page. And then Scott Hall of Train Stars Performance Center. Battlegrounds. Breaking Bird. We have this, which I haven't gotten anything out of any of these, to be honest. So nothing worked out. I hate to say that, but that's what like Walmart-ish boxes do. They don't give you really anything. Good, unless you're doing, unless you're a person who does full sets, I should say that. Unless you're a person who does full sets, they don't really give you anything worthwhile. I'm not a full set kind of guy. I'm more of a, I want a couple hits. I like an autograph. I'll take a shirt relic. Enzo Amore. This is the Heritage 2017 set. Seamus. Carmela. Harper, Legend Batista, Legend the Invol Jim Nine Vol Hour, Legend Rare Claire, Legend Sting, Jay Uso, Dean Ambrose, I miss you, I really miss you. Okay, so that was uh, Carmelo's rookie card. This is Samoa Joe's rookie card. Future stars, Nikki Gross. Back when the man, they called Neville, was still part of the company. Ty Dillinger, which I believe was just released or is way awaiting his release. Because uh, I do believe he requested I'm not 100% of them. Uh, Gentleman Jack Gallagher, which I do not know where he's been. Uh, I, although, at the same time, I haven't really been paying attention to two of our lives. Rich Swan, Wookie Car. We have, it looks like, Bronze Legend Trish Stratus. Uh, possible Bronze Legend Scott Hall. Then we have British Bulldog defeats Ken Shamrock in a dog food match. Dog feed match. <laughs> Undertaker defeats Kamala uh, Kama in a. Uh, Kama in a casket match. Brock Lesnar. Ripple DH. Ultimate Warrior. Tatanka. WCW Cruiserweight Champion X Pac defeats Tajiri for the WWE Light Heavyweight Championship. Scott Hall defeats, or I'm sorry, Razor Moon defeats Diesel for the Intercontinental Championship. The Mega Powers defeat the Mega Bucks. Team WWE defeats the Nexus. 
Brock Lesnar defeats The Rock for the WWE Championship. The Unholy Alliance defeat Kane and X-Pac for the World Tag Team Championships. Mankind defeats Undertaker in a Boiler Room Brawl. The last card, WWE Champion Ultimate Warrior defeats Ravishing Recruit in a Steel Cage match. So overall, I think this is a cool box. Cards, they're generic cards just because uh, they're, they, they can obviously not really get any hits or anything like out of these packs. However, they're just add-ons. They're just little add-ons. So that's I don't I don't really brandish anyone for that because you'll always get those. Those are cool. It's cool just to get WWE cards. It's got a whole stack of them. I have bought one or two of these boxes before, so that's why I know about them. So I might try to go for a clutch on that. Who knows? Um, but the Lesnar figure is cool. The comic I'm definitely gonna check out. And it is cool to have game grills and how cool is the signature. So that is awesome, guys. If you like that, go ahead and like and subscribe. And as always, pie for everyone.